all right welcome back nigerians lambast gaba shewu after apologizing for misinforming nigerians all right the news in detail they didn't have clearance nigerians lambast gaba shewu after apologizing for misinforming nigerians nigerians have come down hard on the senior special assistant to the president Mamadou Buhari shortly after he tweeted his apology for earlier saying that only 10 students were abducted were abducted from GSSS Kankara the SSA this Friday evening took to his Twitter handle to apologize to Nigerian saying he got the information from someone who normally ought to be in the know but Nigerians were not having such as they lambasted him back for always downplaying information just to make his boss look good. Okay, and then as it is, according to the verified Twitter of Gabashew, he has said it that I apologize for the incorrect communication, citing that only 10 students were kidnapped at the science school Kankara. This communication of number was provided by persons that should ideally know. These numbers were seen to conflict with what was available at that time. All right, and um, please understand that this communication was in no way done to downplay the seriousness of the situation all right gabashi had been you know had apologized so far onto this one and then a lot of people are saying it that is this is a costly costly mistake if we are to deal with this okay and then at jingi underscore i said that then replying to at gabashi right now he says then it is what you were to trying to show no concern okay and how can you tell us it's a mistake record the chair you are sitting on i asked allah to treat you the way you are treating poor people's affairs in nigeria that has been no said so far against gaba Shewu. yet at jenge has replied him saying you can imagine you can just go it thinks you can just come out and concur lies and you know deliver anyhow you want it may the good lord continue to punish all of them one after the other for tampering with the you no know, life and the emotions of nigerian poor citizens Okay, and then that has been said so far. Mm, a lot of reactions here. Okay, and then at Jajauyo, I said that when a citizen needs relief, do not relieve them with a cruel words. That may lead them to agony again. You said they are only 10 students. Imagine, our farmers were slaughtered and you said they were not given permission to go their own farm. Note this, please. There is God. Okay, and then she said, I don't worry. We didn't take you seriously in the first place. Mm. As it is, a lot of people don't even see Gaba Shew as somebody where they feel you no know, taking matter serious. And somebody don't come talk and say, Okay, <laughs> Gaba Shew, this one we just they apologize. We say we don't see you as one useless person and we don't take you serious from the beginning. Even when you they talk, it it's it thinks say we believe waiting you they talk. We don't say now nah, so in our head they do. Now just they do any out because of the small money we na one chop. Now he make corner they always they talk as soon as like. So we never take you seriously. So in fact, eh, no damage. Sure, you no know, damage anything from beginning. So because we don't see you say you know be better person from beginning. Hmm. Okay. And then at Enoch Baminas, I said that well, when you said that only ten students were abducted in Casina. I wonder what exactly you meant by that as a vice as a VIP in the president cabinet. 
you are the ones should have been persecuted by the government for fake news and disinformation okay yes yeah, so this one another strong one hmm i will count it tied to this one now gaba shewu to be prosecuted for fake news nigerians have been receiving since the beginning of this regime he needs to be prosecuted okay she be saying gaba shewu to be dealt with for misinformation in Nigeria. That's another title. Abimo make us say fake news, fake news, fake news. Perpetrator of fake news in Nigeria finally caught, namely Gaba Shewu. Okay, okay, that's it now. So we can't name that one now. Okay, because now, if they if later they go, they say Nigerians they give fake news, they give fake news, they talk any as if the originator of fake news. After Laila Mohammed, eh, another person will follow her now. Now be Gaba Shewu. Okay, you know, I don't see um, they don't see waiting they have for this country. Later they go say they won't ban social media. You see waiting Gaba Shewu they use social media they do now. So many I know say the social media when they even they talk about to say now from presidency now in the Laila the fake fake news that there we for Lenam if when I say people they do and I start them Okay, she will not don't say that now. We don't write them down. Now, so this one gone go. Okay, Gaba Shewu, you are your own. Well, onto this, a lot of people have reacted onto this one. And then, and then according to guests, he has said that at the lucky shooting, Gaba Shewu jumped out to say that the soldiers that shot at the crowd were hoodlums dressed in soldiers' uniform that the army wasn't there at all but the goc that gave evidence at the panel said otherwise what kind of a p at what kind of a pa to a president is this he is making like muhammad to look like a saint okay okay i don't get them now hmm. now don't recall say during that uh hashtag answers you know, protest gaba she will come outside can't talk say Eh, uh, all this one with them say so you can't kill, don't kill. Say that lie, so you no come, no, so you can't kill. Say now all those hoodlums, all these stouts, now they wear soldier uniform. Gaba she will they talk at that time. Say they wear soldier uniform, can they kill keep people? They buy, buy people for Obodo, Lagos, for inside Nigeria at that time. Now everybody don't reason and say okay, because even from beginning nobody believe Gaba Shewu. In fact, eh. Two people with Nigerians know they believe now. Now Gaba Shewu and uh, Lai Lai Muhammad. Now those two people, you need to wait and talk. I beg you, I beg you. Then see plenty of but those two major people. Then Lai die. Uh -huh. Another person will see join them. Now him be Femi Adeshina. Uh -huh. All of them, uh, they be VIP for Asura where they work under President Muhammad Buhari where they tell us. Okay, now so we don't come see. See, all these people, eh? We cannot no trust them. They lie, die. And why then they lie? Because think of say the only small money where then they see for Asu Rock, where then they chop for Nigeria. They no one release them. They no one make the money pass there. So they need to lie. And people now don't say, okay, well, we know say me on a no lie, but we know so those on a lie when they even they lie from beginning. We never we no take can serious. We know that even take on a serious. Say this one when I come, they apologize. Say as I apologize, now so God go the punish on a, they go one after the other because we never we never take on a serious. Say na even lie, but as I don't even come come aside, come talk on. As I say, see I'm on my own. Uh, no wala. Uh, more punishment for all of us. Uh -huh. According to Mr. Ogun, mm -hmm. Mr. Ogun don't talk and say, mm -hmm. um, I buy one, one by one. Okay, actually, that is it to my people on this one. Well, let me have more take from you on this and remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks always.